Clinton came here to announce her plan to lower prescription drug costs, but ended up announcing that she finally does oppose the Keystone Pipeline. And I think it is imperative that we look at the Keystone Pipeline as what I believe it is, a distraction from the important work we have to do to combat climate change and, unfortunately, from my perspective, one that interferes with our ability to move forward to deal with all the other issues. Therefore, I oppose it. It's been reported the Drake student who asked the question says someone from 350.org, a climate change organization, called her and suggested she ask about Keystone. Environmentalists have long pushed Clinton to oppose the pipeline from Canada to the U.S., which they say could endanger the environment. But Clinton's main purpose here, to focus on how she would improve the Affordable Care Act. I will cap out-of-pocket drug costs for working families. You won't have to pay more than $250 a month for covered medications. And we know this can work because several states already do it. I want to do this nationally so that we can keep the cost down, particularly for people who have a chronic illness. Clinton's health care plan is very specific and coming up at 6. We'll show you five of the changes she wants to make to help people afford the care they need. Cynthia Fodor, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.